We're searching for the western lowland gorilla, a critically endangered species. Tracker Zifire Okoko motions for us to put on our masks and stay silent. We've reached the tree. This is absolutely incredible. And what allows for us to be this close to the gorillas is the fact that, well, they've been habituated, but it is a lengthy and painstaking process. If a troop is friendly like this one was at the beginning, it takes around three years, but it can take up to ten. Otherwise, the gorillas would have run away as soon as they heard the sounds of our footsteps in the forest. It's a unique experience, one that Okoko knows is becoming more rare. I see the gorillas as my family, my children, he tells us. When I see people kill gorillas, when I see that, it brings me to tears. At stake, not just the survival of this species, but the survival of the Republic of Congo's Odzala National Park, a stunning mosaic of open and closed canopy forest and savanna also home to a vanishing population of forest elephants. Its protection, some 13,500 square kilometers, or the size of Connecticut, falls on just 76 eco-guards. From the slashes and markings in the vegetation, the men figure out the direction of their target. They take cover in the undergrowth, barely visible. This is a training exercise. But the war out here against elephant poachers and bushmeat traders is very real. So for me, it's like a guerrilla war. You, you must make two jobs, law enforcement, but convince people too. At this community meeting, Eket, who heads the park's anti-poaching division, is attempting to do just that. Though not with much success. He's trying to get new recruits for his program that gives poachers amnesty if they give up their guns and confess. Though the villagers are wary, this is still progress. It was just a month ago that Eked and his men were being chased out of these areas. But everything out here takes time. On patrol, they move slowly, carefully, pausing to listen to the sounds of the forest, searching for clues of the poachers' activities and documenting every detail. Every single time they find a casing, they GPS its specific location. And they're also constantly keeping track of the endangered, need-to-be-protected species. So if they hear the sounds of chimpanzees, gorillas, elephants, they'll also take note of that and try to determine exactly how big the group is because they're still trying to map out this entire massive forest. A painstaking process to discover, preserve, and appreciate one of the last remaining Edens on the planet. Arwa Damon, CNN, Odzala National Park, Republic of Congo.